The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about cruelty to animals, praying that you will help to stop it. This is the Stop Animal Cruelty series on Supreme Master Television. This week, we examine the immense suffering inflicted upon fish by the fishing industry, which includes fish farms or aquaculture. Each year, billions of fish across the globe are hooked or mercilessly trapped in huge nets and then ripped away from their ocean or freshwater homes. In industrial seafood production, massive trolley nets draw sea life from out of the ocean, which can cause extreme pressure changes for fish and can potentially rupture their swim bladders, which are essential for buoyancy. In the United States alone, approximately 8.4 billion fish are killed each year for food. More than 40% of these animals have been raised on land or ocean-based aqua farms, undergoing an utterly agonizing existence until they are killed. Fish are just as sentient and just as capable of suffering mm -hmm. as any land animal is. They have the same capacity to suffer and deserve protection as well. And we're at a crucial point right now with dwindling populations of fish. And this is largely due to overfishing mm -hmm. and huge trawler nets, which essentially clear cut the ocean of all of their lives, sweeping up everyone and everything in their path because these nets are indiscriminate and factory farming is taking place with fish as well. These, mm -hmm. these animals are being confined and crowded concrete troughs and, and they're having infections and all sorts of welfare problems as well. Truly run like a factory, thousands of fish are jammed into small ponds, concrete tanks or mesh cages. Sometimes there may be as many as 25 large adult fish in an enclosure about the size of a bathtub, where they must swim and breathe in utterly filthy water filled with their own excrement. The obscene conditions mean parasitic infections and diseases like columnaris, which ravishes a fish's gills, skin, and fins, and is the leading cause of death for farmed fish in the U.S., run rampant in the imprisoned population. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, says as much as 40% of farmed fish die before they can be slaughtered. Finally, near the end of their stay at the aqua farm, the helpless fish are starved for several days. This is done to keep the water less polluted while they are transported to a slaughter facility to be heartlessly massacred. The state of Texas is the largest producer of farm-raised catfish in the U.S. In the fall of 2010, Mercy for Animals, a U.S.-based nonprofit animal advocacy organization, conducted an undercover investigation at a fish processing center in Texas. What the group's investigator found was absolutely shocking. Tell us about some of the investigations that Mercy for Animals has done recently. Mercy for Animals conducted an undercover investigation uh, between September and December of 2010 at a fish slaughter facility in Mesquite, just east of Dallas. At this facility, our undercover investigator documented workers slicing the skin off of live fish, tearing their fins apart, their tails, before ultimately beheading the animals while they were still fully conscious. These were egregious acts that, if this type of pain were to be inflicted on a dog or cat, they could be fined and potentially incarcerated. 
The footage reveals a grisly and sickening operation where fish are nearly suffocated, skinned and then dismembered, all the while aware of the excruciating torture they are undergoing. The peaceful animals were clearly in enormous pain and constantly thrashed about and struggled to escape, while the workers brutally severed their fins and ripped their skin off using pliers. Employees repeatedly sliced live catfish with sharp knives and then brutally cut them in half. Without hesitation, they routinely tore the heads off of live fish. The victims who were next in line to be murdered languished in buckets and baskets, their mouths opening and closing repeatedly as they asphyxiated from a lack of water. viewing the footage, veterinarian Dr. Lee Schrader stated, to subject fish to an obviously painful procedure, such as the removal of their skin while they are alive and responsive, is cruel, inhumane, and without excuse. Currently in the United States, there are no laws which protect fish from cruelty or abuse, either in aqua farms or during their subsequent brutal slaughter. Mercy for Animals is striving to have fish protection laws enacted in Texas and has provided evidence of the ongoing carnage at the Texas Fish Processing Facility to members of the state's legislature. We submitted all of our documentation, including all of the undercover footage taken by our investigator, and filed an official complaint with the Dallas County DA's office. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the DA's office declined to prosecute because the state of Texas does not protect fish. In fact, there are no federal laws either that protect fish. Has Mercy for Animals taken any uh, action to try to get laws changed? We did reach out to all of our Texas state legislators and asked them to enact new laws that would protect fish from this type of egregious cruelty. At this point, we have not heard from the Texas Legislature, but we are committed to fighting this tirelessly. In a study published in the science journal Nature, researchers concluded that the fishing industry is rapidly decimating oceanic ecosystems. With the industry having annihilated 90% of the stocks of large ocean fish in just the past 50 years. 
In one type of commercial fishing called bottom trawling, gigantic nets the size of a football field are dragged along the ocean floor, sweeping up not only fish, but many other forms of fragile marine life. What are the effects of global industrial fishing? The effects are that we are not only killing fish, but other sea lives also have dolphins, turtles, and other beautiful sea creatures are unfortunately also victims of industrial seafood production. What about the practice of catching fish just for so-called sport? When a hook impales a fish through his eye, mouth, or cheek, he experiences unbearable agony. If you accept that fish are capable of pain and fear and stress, you have to accept that if you are simply catching a fish for your own enjoyment, you are potentially causing pain and fear to that fish. And it has been proven that the fish is very stressed, they can suffer mortality, um, and that their subsequent behaviour can be affected after they've been released. We do know that fish have brains, a central nervous system, and nerve endings. These animals have nociceptors, which are receptors on the skin that are physiologically similar to the forebrain and midbrain of mammals. And these recent studies suggest that on our video where you saw the fish flopping around in pain were deliberate attempts to escape the worker's blades. Fish are sensitive and intelligent, enjoy each other's company, and have good memories. They also talk to each other with low frequency sounds that humans can hear only with special instruments. Dr. Teresa Bert de Pereira, a research scientist at Oxford University, UK, states, we're now finding that fish are very capable of learning and remembering and possess a range of cognitive skills that would surprise many people. How can each of us help to stop the atrocities inflicted upon our fish friends? According to Eddie Garza and Mercy for Animals, there is one simple solution. We want to let people know that they should forego fish and choose a vegan diet as the best way to help prevent animal cruelty. Do you have stories you can tell us about people have, who have been moved to become vegan since they have seen the work of Mercy for Animals? Absolutely. We receive emails every single day from people who have decided to choose vegetarian. If I look on the database right now, you'll see several new people who've popped up requesting vegetarian starter kits. People want to know. People have been kept largely in the dark all of this time. And we are here to let them know that there is a better way. They can change their diet to help the planet, to help animals, and to improve their own health. Mercy for Animals is actively raising public awareness about the violent slaughter of fish and other animals by the animal agriculture industry, as well as encouraging people to adopt an animal-free diet. We do have a lot of outreach events going on daily. Today, I've got two interns out in bustling downtown Dallas handing out vegetarian literature, inspiring people to make the compassionate choice to be a vegetarian. Uh, this afternoon, they're also reaching out to some high school students that are at the right age to be able to make choices and really um, understand that the food that they are consuming is really making a big impact on the entire world. We also have a lot of different campaigns on the weekends. We've got vegan food giveaways where we let people try different vegetarian food items, letting them know that they don't have to support animal cruelty to enjoy tasty snacks. What direction is the world going uh, as far as how we treat animals? We are absolutely moving forward. Ten years ago, we wouldn't think about campaigns ending battery cages, and today, it's widely accepted that battery cages should be outlawed nationwide. The public vote says that. We are asking that people now consider the plight of fish. Be veg, go green to save the planet.
Mercy for Animals, and Eddie Garza. We are grateful for your enlightened efforts to inform the public about the cruelty of the fishing industry. Through your benevolent work, you are saving the lives of countless gentle fish and other animals. It is beautiful to see that your initiatives are helping humanity to live in greater harmony with other beings. Mercy for Animals, we wish you every success in all your ongoing and future animal advocacy endeavors. For more information on fish cruelty, please visit www.mercyforanimals.org forward slash fish. Thoughtful viewers, thank you for joining us for today's program here on Supreme Master Television. Enlightening Entertainment is up next after noteworthy news. May all fish swim freely in clean, sparkling waters and live long and contented lives. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash stop dash animal dash cruelty.